when I was coaching my son, when he decided to move on to cross country and do it like an individual type sport, both of my daughters started playing. They were four years old. When I saw the potential and I saw how girls were developing compared to the guys, it just kind of took over me. And I decided I want to do girls. And then I saw that a lot of the high schools were lacking bases from the community into the high school. So I decided, no, this is the way to do it. So we picked up girls from every district to build in Mexico. I'm actually, I actually started this again. I was already on my retirement and I started back because one of those parents, which was one, one of my players back in the days, she's now a mom and we started with her daughter and started with four girls three years ago and now we have 60 girls and a lot of those parents are my, my players. So it, it, it came back around because now, you know, I'm coaching, this is my second generation, you know, coaching the daughters, you know, and I'm actually, you know, coaching my granddaughter now. So my granddaughter is out there, you know, and eventually uh, in four years, I have my, my other granddaughter that is building up to. So this is a never ending deal until I completely can't walk anymore. <laughs> Well, um, we came, you know, we did a fundraiser before with uh, Locomotives and then uh, a new activity came by, you know, a new event that, you know, for cancer awareness. And, you know, since, you know, the majority of my girls, or actually the 100% of my team, it's all girls. Uh, we have a parent in our team that has fallen to cancer and we decided that, you know, we're going to do a fundraiser for her. You know, so eventually we do a lot of community stuff to help, you know, in, in different areas with soccer and whatever comes out, you know. Um, I've always say this because I was a teacher, so my first goal, and I tell my parents, my goal is not to make them professionals or make them to go. My goal is to make them better people, better person, better young ladies, finish school, get an, a better education, become productive uh, individuals. And after that, whatever they want to do with the sport, it's an extra, it's a plus. And if they do it, that's amazing. I do have girls from when I was coaching the Juarez uh, teams, because I was coaching there too. I, we have girls that actually made it to uh, the Mexican national team. They're playing for America, they're playing for Bravas. So uh, we have girls that have come from this loop, uh, club and they're playing out there. So it's been it's been a good, a good journey. Uh, we're open to any, uh, donations, uh, sponsorships, even even just to come and help with the team. And, and you know, if, if there's out there coaches that are willing to volunteer and give us more ideas, better ideas, because one man can only do so much, you know, but if there's more people out there that know the sport better than me, which I know they are, they can always come and, and, and support and help, and we can make this grow for us and for the city. So.